stock market is on the verge of the literal biggest reversal confirmation of the century. Bitcoin bear boys cheer as Bitcoin plummets nearly $1,000 in what will be considered the biggest dump of the last 24 hours. But is there evidence so good, so absolutely bananas, that the end of this backtest is just the beginning of the most explosive move? in history. After you watch this video, I promise you will have a gigantic bellyache because of how insane the evidence that I'm about to talk about is. Right now, Bitcoin faces its biggest challenge. And as we all know, Bitcoin itself is important. But as we're seeing with the stock market and what is happening with the stock market is infinitely more important because I want to paint a picture for you. If over the next week or two, the stock market stabilizes and ends up putting in a higher low and mo starts moving up for the next few months, then it doesn't matter what Bitcoin does tomorrow over the weekend, over the next seven, over the next 14 days. It simply doesn't really matter because if the stock market begins a multi-month trend to the upside, then so will Bitcoin based on all historic evidence that is above and beyond the most important thing to look at. And I think uh, everybody that's been in the market more than five minutes knows that. And that's why it's exciting what we're seeing right now. However, in the last 24 hours, Bitcoin has absolutely taken a massive $1,000 dumpy doo to the downside. And that is exactly what we're going to be talking about in this video, but more specifically, something even much bigger than that. Before we do jump into that as well, we are now partnered as well, so that if you join our stake pool, which takes two to three minutes for ADA, uh, in addition to receiving ADA staking rewards, you also will receive uh, 100,000 CCCC tokens for every 1,000 ADA that you stake. And remember, you can remove that ADA uh, a minute after you stake it. There is no lockups, and uh, yeah, you're free to move it around whenever. But I want to start off here with this stock market. So the SPX, as we've been covering right here, right now, we have actually dipped in the stock market down to about 39.25-ish. And right now we're about 100 points above that at about 40.25-ish. And we have seen a move below that, but we've so far bounced on a very key moving average, the 21-week moving average. And right now we're kind of right testing at about the 50-week moving average. But more importantly, we're actually trying to find support right here uh, on this back test. And, you know, we've been talking about this for months, actually. And the fact that it's finally happening is insanely exciting um, because if this ends up holding, as we covered, uh, as we've been covering, I tweeted this about three weeks ago, right, where we had this bearish crossover. And we were saying it looks like the stock market is about to take a dump. And, you know, so far it has. The only difference now with this is that we're actually above this trend line instead of below it when we got this bearish cross every time, right? So you remember that. So now if we go to where we are right now, this is this can qu very quickly get bullish for the stock market okay if we take a look on the daily chart here we're already seeing this momentum on the daily start to re curve over again right we're seeing momentum build we're now above the the um, 200 and the 50 day moving averages and the 21 day sits at right about 4062 so um this is this can get very good if we continue this reversal and we truly do get a bounce um over the next week here uh, we're about to go into weekend price action so um you know that's absolutely worth noting but again if the stock market bounces here guys this can get very bullish for bitcoin it doesn't really matter if bitcoin seems like it's losing momentum right now if the stock market ultimately can begin an actual multi-week or multi-month uptrend then bitcoin simply will follow right that is exactly what we've seen uh with these markets so that's very exciting um, and before we continue with these charts, I want to take a look at a few things here. So uh, Mustache, El Crypto Prof on Twitter, again, just highlighting the lower high, followed by a higher high here as we exited the last dumpy back in 2019, exactly four years ago. And um, yeah, I mean, it sees 21.3 as a possible scenario, meaning going down there. And as I've been talking about for weeks, I personally think it's, it's very likely we could even still go below 20K. So far, we haven't seen that yet, though. We're still over $2,000 above that. Um, and as well, Crypto Noob on Twitter posting this, just history repeating with these bullish crosses here on these longer term time frames showing the RSI cross and this this trend continuing using a Heikinashi chart as well and again eh, this is very likely again in my opinion we're going to see at least a multi-month run here and then crypto con posting on Twitter the bull uh, the Bitcoin TD sequential uh, Bitcoin bull markets uh, measured with the Heikinashi here it looks like we're very early into a, a pump here again my opinion I don't believe we're in a bull market but a very strong relief um, 
relief rally again which could turn into a bull market but we need way more evidence of that in my opinion and king la crypto here uh, hidden bullish divergence on these shorter term charts on the one day chart and you can see that here so absolutely evidence for a bounce incoming here um for bitcoin and as well if we take a look at bitcoin on the daily chart still we are absolutely still holding our levels of vpvr support we've broken the first one here but as we go lower they're bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger so we haven't actually come down to this next one which is around 21.3 so a little over a thousand dollars lower than where we currently are uh, again I, I i personally think you know this pullback for bitcoin could still get a little bit little bigger but if the stock market really starts gaining strength then it simply won't it'll just simply go up with the stock market most likely there's no guarantees but if there's anything with the highest percent likelihood it's that uh, you know, when we talk about these percent likelihoods, if the stock market really starts pumping, then that is the biggest thing that is likely to help Bitcoin uh, above and beyond everything else. And again, it would if we could get a pump here and break that 25,000 concretely, then and stay above it, then we could invalidate this double top on Bitcoin's weekly chart um, and kind of not repeat this pattern here. But again, this is still a scenario. Uh, as I just said, I still think it's likely we could see a 20K or lower Bitcoin but not if the stock market starts pumping. And all of that being said, the DXY is still facing this resistance exactly where we've had plotted on here for months. I haven't moved these resistance lines in months, and you can see uh, the DXY is kind of struggling right here. So if it cannot even break above this range, then again, we could see a lot further weakness for, these, uh, for the DXY and a lot stronger of pumpage for the stock market. And with that, you know, if the stock market starts pumping, Bitcoin and likely the altcoins will as well. Bitcoin on the weekly chart is still held down by this death cross that we received just a few weeks ago. But if we can break above this and invalidate this, the quicker the better. And that would also show immense strength in the market is if we invalidate a double top or sorry, a, uh, a death cross and a double top on the shorter time frames. But you can also see the double top actually here um, with this being the top and then this being the other one so again obviously we have a lot of resistance ahead of us but if we break this if we break above this death cross we break above this double top scenario and we go above twenty five thousand. a lot of strength can enter this market extremely fast and massive amounts of short liquidations would pile on a lot of people are shorting this move and guys uh i read the comments I read Twitter. People are still overwhelmingly bearish. Do not let it fool you that I get on here and I'm a little bit of a moon boy, right? And there's a couple moon boys in the comments, okay? That doesn't mean that we're all moon boys. If you look around every time, especially after the last 24 hours when we got a whole thousand dollar dump, the bears are everywhere, okay? So keep that in mind. People are still overwhelmingly bearish. Every time I see somebody post a chart, I, I believe even Kevin Svensson posted something like 24 hours ago where it was like, what scenario is most likely? Basically going up or down. Uh, again, people heavily are bearish on this market. And if you don't believe that, read comments after a $500 dump, okay? It is just infiltrated, completely uh, covered in people that are saying, see, now we're going below 15 and, and below and stuff, right? And there's there's a reason for that. And it's that over the past year, it's kind of obvious, over the past year, we have been conditioned to only expect dumping. So the fact that a lot of new people that joined the market here in this range, uh, even in this range, if you joined the market back in 2021, 2022, a lot of those people are just absolutely conditioned to believe it was all a big trap and it's just gonna go down forever. A lot of people have that belief, okay? Uh, because in recent history, people that expected it to dump have been correct. But like with every trend, it ends, okay? And knowing when it ends takes some experience. It takes some luck as well, but it absolutely takes more than one year of experience in my opinion. It takes at least a full Bitcoin cycle, which is roughly about four years. So if you have not been in the market for at least four years, then I urge you to, um, you know, Take everyone's opinion with a grain of salt, but also understand that it's still part of the learning curve that, um, you know, you simply have to psychologically go through these cycles to to really get a grasp, I, I believe, of how overwhelmingly bearish and bullish sentiments can end up tricking you. Uh, and again, I still believe absolutely that that um, maximum pain is the upside. And I still absolutely believe that uh, the crowd is 100 percent still on the side of maximum dumpage, which, in my opinion, makes a pump 
more likely over the next few weeks. Time sensitive alerts. Take advantage of massive bonuses on Bybit and BitGet uh, below. If you're interested, you get massive deposit and sign up bonuses using my link below. In addition, zero trading fees for spot trading. You cannot go wrong with that. If you're trading spot, why would you pay fees if you don't? If you have the option to not do that, right? And you can sign up with those uh, specifically to get all those bonuses and perks using my link below. Links below. Uh, without any further ado, that's it for me.